Hey gamers, what's up? So I wanted to address this real quick. A lot of people commented on my Building a Game Room Part 5 video asking about my old school systems being in widescreen and I didn't think to address it. That was the video where I showed the multi-selector that I built into this entertainment stand. So yes, as you can see, this is in widescreen and it should be in full screen. And it does that on all the consoles that I turn on through this AV. Um, I, as far as I know, every TV has the option to change this though. So real quick, I'm just going to show you. Grab your remote and <clears throat> it might be a little different from TV to TV, but on this TV, for example, I just hit menu and I go into my mode here and scroll down to picture options. And then right in here, you're going to have your size and you'll be able to zoom maybe you know it just depends on your uh, TV but it has the 4-3 aspect ratio and that's it and now anything that goes through that AV port will show up in 4-3 the way you want it to so if I turn that off and turn my Dreamcast back on there you go and I was in such a hurry in that last video that I didn't even think to fix my aspect ratio before I shot the video. I was kind of excited. So I thought I'd show you guys that if anyone ever has a problem with their HDTV stretching out their picture, that's probably something that'll fix it up for you. And that's it. I just want to do a quick short video and let you guys see that that's always an option. And if you have that problem, you can fix it. That's it for now. Thanks for watching. I'll catch y'all later. All right, so we've seen my setup here with my AV Quick Connects and my system selector. And what we're going to do now is I unplug this from the system selector, and this is the line that goes to the TV. And I grabbed an extra cable. And I got three of these, just AV splitters. They're male to two female. And what we'll do is we'll split the ends of these between the AV cord that goes to the TV and the one that's going to go to the capture card. And then plug it into the output of the system selector. And that's what it's going to look like once you split it. Again, that one will go to the capture card and this one will go to the TV. And there's the final step. Let's see, I've got this one going to the capture card and that one going to the TV. Just tuck them back there. And there's my capture card and I'm just going to stick it under this shelf where it's not visible and I pulled the uh, USB right through there so when I want to use it I can just plug it right into my computer and I don't have a big mess of tangled cords I mean that's not the prettiest thing in the world but it's better than having it out everywhere and now with this setup I have my laptop right there and I can capture video from any of the consoles I have out hooked up And that's it for now.